Sacramento has now two brand new bridges and three freshly paved streets. They're meant to connect the long awaited downtown rail yards development to the rest of the central city. So, when will you be able to drive on these new streets and bridges? Case Area 3's David Beenick has been digging into that for us, and he joins us now with the answers. David. Golson, good evening. Yeah, it looks like a normal city. The street lights are on, the uh, traffic signals are working, except no people. No cars. The city of Sacramento completed this street project a month ago, but says for now at least, these street closed signs will stay in place. For now, it still takes a secret code to open a lock, pull away the fences, and enter the downtown rail yards. I think the uh, aesthetics are, are wonderful. City and engineer John Blank shows how $68 million of mainly state bond money built bridges, streets, benches, and traffic lights in an area that will nearly double Sacramento's downtown. It's been a, a lot of work in the last five, six years, and we've had a lot of folks work on the project, and it's just a feeling of accomplishment. From Livecopter 3, you can see how the new 5th and 6th Street bridges cross the railroad tracks and connect to a new street called Rail Yards Boulevard that runs through the development site. So, when will these streets be open to traffic? We don't have a good answer for that right now. The city's project manager says the opening is on hold because the rail yard's property is being sold from one developer to another. Sales talks have been going on for a year and a half. They focus mainly on who will be responsible for cleaning up any additional pollution that might be discovered on this former industrial site. Obviously, these were easy. These these kinds of these kind of issues were easy to solve. This rail yards would have been developed a long time ago. Right underneath Interstate 5, there's still about a 100 foot section of Rail Yards Boulevard that has yet to be paved. The city says it's still trying to figure out how this street will eventually connect to a new bridge over the Sacramento River. After the sale is complete, the city says it will have to find a way to make sure the site is safe for public access. And even without any buildings here, some drivers are eager to use the rail yards as a shortcut in and out of downtown. Especially with the congestion we're going to have. Uh, with the arena here, um, I think it'll be a good thing. Late today, I spoke with the development company Inland America that's trying to sell this property, and the spokesperson told me that they are in the final stages of wrapping up that deal, and they hope to have a deal signed and the log jam removed within the next few months. Live in Sacramento, David Beating, KCRA 3 News. Maybe soon after that, we can see those fences come down. David, thanks.